count salo donate too much to Sukutu community as welfare package. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Such ridiculous donations by Nigerian politicians is not new, but the recent one only shows the practice is being taken to new embarrassing heights. <laughs> Why I be like mad with them doing it? Ha ha! But see, see, it is actually not by force to donate things. I think the best way to go about this thing is this thing you're trying to donate. Even as an individual, there are times you know people give away used clothes. The people who are guilty as this man, they give away used clothes that nobody can wear. Okay, now let's focus on the counselor. Did he ask himself? If somebody wants to come and knock on my door and say, ah, I said I should bring this thing for you, maybe you're going to be needing it, would he be mad? If he wants to give somebody who is really close to him, will he give the person a mat? I think it is not by force to do it now. I don't think the place they've gone over his head to do this. So this actually is totally wrong. There's actually a, a person in the northern, I think the northern region, that donated, is it not commissioner or the Borno state government? Is it the Borno state government? I cannot remember vividly, but he gave people taxes. He gave people taxes. He gave people what they call keke na pep. And I'm saying, if you want to talk about empowerment, please, that is the one you talk. Another one came out and I think he gave people sewing machines. And I'm saying, fine. As far as number one, the people who you give these things to, they really want to become dr cab drivers. Because at the end of the day, if you give anyone this cab, they will sell it off and use the money. Before you know it, the aim of that empowerment is lost. So you first of all get people who are interested. Now, did these people tell the counselor that they're interested in sleeping on the mat? <laughs> you know this in detail. Please stay with us. The counselor in Tokoto State has donated two plastic mats to Sadada community in Kebe local government area of a state. The shameless counselor, whose name could not be verified as at the time of filing this report, also took pictures with the beneficiaries while making the donations. Such ridiculous donations by Nigerian politics is not new, but the recent only shows the practice is being taken to a new embarrassing height. Digital item had included tricycles, motorcycles, and grinding machines. But water sachets and shoe shining starter kits have also been donated by politicians. Sahara reporters have reported how donkeys were given out in Kano and cassava stems in Anambra as economic empowerment by government representatives who enjoy all the perks of office and in many cases funds corruptly acquired, all at the expense of taxpayers. Sahara reporters have reported how an aid to the Benue state governor, Samuel Autumn, was distributed with barrels with description, Governor Autumn for you arguing that the beneficiary will use the beavers to run around and hawk. Later, the wheelbarrow empowerment resurfaced in Saraba State as a member of the House of Representatives, Maegare Bello Kasimo, representing Jalingo Yoro Zing Federal Constituency, distributed wheelbarrows to empower some members of his constituency. All of them used to hire wheelbarrows to push to end their living, but now they have the opportunity of owning their own wheelbarrows. The spokesperson for the lawmaker, Sahidun, Sahidu Na Anabi had said during the presentation. Na Anabi's speech properly inspired the late caretaker chairperson of Ansuka Luhu government area in Enugu State, Chingwe Ugu, to give real barrels to youth in the area as economic empowerment. These are poor people who cannot afford to buy real barrels, but had to hire for between 200 to 300 naira per day, Ugu has said in response to critics. Similarly, Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje said, he spent 208 million to empower my shy or tea sellers in the state by giving them items like cousins of noodles, crates of eggs, spaghetti, bread, cocoa beverage, liquid and powdered milk, brown and white sugar, nylon and teacups. Why Kano governor was beaten in stress for shot an extraordinary achievement? The late commissioner for education in Castillo State. Halima to Idris outdid him by handing goats to famous students at Government Girls Arabic Secondary School, Dosima. The goats were reportedly given to famous students in 20 secondary schools who were expected to return the nanny goats to the state's government after a year. Then came the Commissioner for Education in Bruno State, Osman Jaha, 
who gave shoe shining kits, basket, yams, and bags of oranges to his constituents in Guazo as economic empowerment. The shoe polishing instruments were given to men, while the baskets and fruits were used to empower the women. As small Nigerians face economic hardship and wallowing poverty, largely occasioned by corruption, politicians further insult the populace with the donation of such ridiculous and bizarre items as so-called economic empowerment or welfare packages. My brother, this English, you what am? Hey, yeah? Are you listening to this? Matt, now I have said it before. People will come out and say, hey, after all, there are some people who don't give. It is better. See, how, oh my goodness. How will you see this kind of gesture? How? Like I said, in Bruno, the same Bruno they call somebody. Somebody donated keke na peps. And the donation was not one person per keke. They give like two, pe two persons a keke or three persons. What would they do? They will share it. Maybe you do morning nine to one. Another person will do one to, you know, another, another person will. That is it. Or maybe somebody can do nine to two, then the other person can do two to. Yes. The same thing, a taxi too. Or maybe you do today, I do tomorrow. They take turns like that. Until some one of them is saying, have saved enough and say, you know what? I'm no longer, I'm no longer interested. That is the empowerment. I'm saying we're in the age where digital skills are even, some of these things, as in you get people who are even really interested. Because I want to believe that the aim of empowerment is to better the person's life, right? If you just take um, wheelbarrows and give to somebody, they can sell it get the money and settle. The aim of the empowerment has been lost. It has. You're giving math to people. Come on now. Come on. And some people are hailing him. Just listen to this. Just listen to this. This is a counselor. This is a good one from the counselor. If you become their chairman, he will donate form for them. As he go higher, the more higher donations from him. Not the size of the gifts, but the intention matters. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> ha. Okay. Are you listening to this? There are some people that when they drop your opinion, you start asking yourself, where in Nigeria is this person dropping this opinion from? Is the person in Mass Nigeria or Venus Nigeria or Jupiter Nigeria? Nothing else love this kind of gesture. In spite of all what Jonathan Lord Jonathan did in the north during his tenure, they shut their eyes against him only because he's a southerner. And these are the people who love to say that Nigeria is not divisible, but by their families and attitudes and actions, they have they not divided the so called Nigeria. <laughs> I tire. On this, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. And